everyone welcome back to my channel this is Heidi from my reading life and I'm here today to film my November TBR check-in and book haul so um, before I get started with that bit of work let us uh, just have a brief announcement and that is that uh, Robert over at Bart Awards who runs the booktube prize is lo is still looking for judges for the 2022 season so I would like to encourage you if you have been thinking about participating in being a judge for the book two prize to please go ahead and sign up um, it is open to anyone who is watching this video to participate you don't have to make videos you don't have to be uh you know don't have to have any sort of instagram or twitter or whatever those things are great and would be appreciated so that you could shout out the booktube prize but as long as you're a participant on booktube if you watch these videos if you comment in the comment section you are eligible to be a booktube prize judge and it is very much fun this year coming up in 2022 we're going to have a fiction category a non-fiction category and a translated fiction category the translated fiction category is new this time in 2020 in 2022 so it's very exciting I particularly love the nonfiction uh, portion of the book two prize this past year I only judged nonfiction for all four rounds and I just loved it I really get a lot out of being a book two book two prize judge and I think you would too so I would like to encourage you to join us I will leave a link down below um, to the information that you would need to sign up and I really hope that you will consider joining us and joining in on the fun. I would also say that you don't have to judge all four rounds. You can uh, sign up and, you know, every at the beginning before every round, Robert will send you an email and you can opt in or opt out for that round. Of utmost importance is that very first round um, that starts in February because that is the round that we need the, the most judges for of all the rounds. So if you are considering it at all, please do sign up and give it a try. It is so much fun. So let's get to the TBR balancing for um, the month of November. So in the month of November, I read 15 books total. Of those, 12 were nonfiction and three were fiction. Um, and of those 15 books that I read, 10 were off my shelf. So let's look at the numbers here. My book has stuff in it that wants to fall out. So let's try to avoid that if we can. So let's see. Oh, we're down here in November. So I read 10 off my shelves uh, in the month of November. I only brought in three books. I know I did very, very well. Um, no unhauls this month. And that is a minus seven for the month, bringing me down to 116. Can you believe it? I'm down to 116. That's the best so far since I started this balancing the TBR project um, way back two years ago. So there's only one more month left of the year. As you can see, I've rearranged shelves again. The top shelf is my um, ancient TBR that I've been working on uh, for the entire month, uh, entire year, 2021. Um, and then we've just got the rest of my fiction to be read uh, in the next two shelves. So um, pretty good. That's all that's left right now from the ancient TBR. Um, I will be reading one for sure off that. Um, it's not here. It's it's out on my um, library cart. So I'm going to be reading uh, Under the Skin with C&D from Miss Reads a Lot in the month of December. So and hopefully I may get to something else from here and just whittle that down a little bit more. So feeling very good. 116. Like I said, I mean, Christmas is coming up. So and December is not typically a month in which I read a lot because, you know, um, stuff is going on, but we'll see what we can do. So let's get to the book haul portion of this video. So what I brought in in the month of November is the best American science and nature writing for 2021. This is edited by Ed Yong, which is very exciting because I love his work. I loved his book. I contain multitudes. It was fabulous. Um, so I'm excited to uh, have him be the editor of this collection in 2021. Um, this cover is pretty nice. It's got the feathers on here. Uh, so I guess we're going, <laughs> we're going with this new style where the spine has a little circle around the date. Um, we won't get into how I feel about the fact that now my, my editions won't match any longer. The second book that I brought in is Empire of Pain, The Secret History of the Sackler Dynasty by Patrick Radden Keefe. This book has been all over the place, very popular, 
piece of nonfiction from 2021. I'm actually uh, already started this and I finished the first seven chapters. So I'm on page, <clears throat> I'm on page 108. Uh, this is, this nonfiction is all about the Sackler family who are the owners of Purdue, Purdue Pharma, which uh, created and sell the drug Oxycontin, which has created um, the opioid crisis in the United States. And uh, this cover design is just really, really fantastic. I had read uh, Patrick Radden Keefe's Say Nothing a couple years ago. Loved that book, it was fantastic. Um, and this book is written in much the same style. Very uh, a broad look at this family going back to the beginning, uh, the beginning person who started uh, the sort of dynasty of the Sackler family. Um, this is also a book that talks a lot about the development of medicine and medical history. So if you're into that sort of thing, this is a book that you'll probably really like. I think, um, you know, anybody that likes sort of uh, a nonfiction, a narrative nonfiction that tells the story of a particular uh, focus, but also brings in history and other uh, sort of bigger picture ideas into their nonfiction would really enjoy this, at least from the first hundred pages where I am now. Really, really good. So excited to see this. And speaking of the book two prize, I have a feeling this one is going to wind up on the long list for sure. And then lastly, I have here a copy of a nonfiction book called Oak Flat, A Fight for Sacred Land in the American West by Lauren Redness. And this was a gift from Karen at Run Right Reads. And this is a, a book that she had read and, and reviewed and sounded super interesting to me. Um, it has lovely illustrations in it. And this, um, just wanted to show you some of them. They're just so nice. Uh, but this is a powerful work of visual nonfiction about three generations of an Apache family struggling to protect sacred land from a multinational mining corporation. So right up my alley in terms of interest areas, uh, blending uh, indigenous issues with nature issues, environmental issues. Um, this is something I'm really excited to delve into as well. Thank you so much, Karen, for sending me this copy. I am really, really thrilled to uh, have it. And look at these end papers. First of all, there's our author. And these end papers are fabulous. And this book itself, if you take off the dust cover, Look at this, isn't that nice? Very, very nice book. So um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. I think that's all the stuff I was supposed to talk about in my TBR check-in uh, and book haul. I hope that you're all doing well and finding some great books to read and I will talk to you later.